I'm Steve Chadban. It's my great pleasure to welcome you all to what I think is a very special occasion to mark. That being 50 years of dialysis and kidney transplantation with this fine institution. On September the 12th, 50 years ago, RPA performed its first kidney transplant. It was a few months earlier than that uh, that we actually acquired our first renal dialysis machine. I sat next to the kidney machine while it did the first dialysis. I had no idea. It was an instruction book, which you know, had a plug. And you're all aware of the Aussie male here, you don't ever read the instruction book. So you plug it in there, and then a big bath, which we poured bags of stuff into, and stirred it with a wooden, a wooden paddle. It was amazing. It's hard for us to think now what it must have been like back in the early days of dialysis because it's a fairly routine outpatient treatment now. You know, those early days of mixing your own dialysate, you know, playing with the machines, it was quite challenging. I think it's testament to everybody that the pioneering spirit that was present at RPA in those early days has set the foundation for what we see today. I do think that the nursing staff and the medical staff have worked very well together. I've never ever felt that I was just the nurse and it's that team effort that I think makes the unit work quite well. It's a privilege really to speak about the 50 years and I think we're only here because of everyone that's gone before and I want to acknowledge the brave and the generous staff um, donors, donor families. I look around the room and I'm so pleased to see so many familiar faces. Those we've guided and nurtured through the assessment process for transplant while on the waiting list or through living donation. The staff do share the ups and downs of our patients and very importantly their families. Each day you remind us about why we do what we do. I presented here um, when I was 19 and living on campus at Sydney Uni with meningococcal disease and one of the outputs of um, meningococcal was I did have kidney failure. I've had hemodialysis, PD and then I was very, very lucky to receive a transplant from my wonderful dad. <laughs> this is a girl from the bush. Yep. Can you explain to us what it means to have kidney failure in the bush. I packed my car up with my peritoneal dialysis and down I came, um, six hour trip. And my little brother, who was going to be my live donor, he lives in Albury, so we call RPA our meeting place. It's been a long time on dialysis, it's been 37 years. It's just, you have your good days and your bad days. They go above and beyond, especially the nursing staff. They're, They'll call you when they know that you feel down, even if you have not mentioned it to them. I've been on it for three years. It's hard, but if you have so many support, it makes life easy. I had a transplant when I was 17. My success is a little bit reflected as their success as well, the unit's success. So RPA has set the bar high for the next uh, 50 years. We've got expertise across all of the areas, basic science, clinical science, qualitative research, epidemiology, policy and practice, um, all within the Sydney Health Partners. So the future's got to be bright.